What's up guys, John here again. So today's video, it's gonna be super simple. It's pretty much common sense, but I figured I'd go over it because both of my fourth gens have done it. My 2009 did it, my 2014 is doing it. And it seems like every once in a while you get a squeaky door. You might think it's a hinge. You might be going crazy with lubricating everything. I'm going to show you exactly which part is typically the one that's making the squeaky noise. So you guys can go ahead and just lubricate that one part and continue on with your day instead of lubing every single point on the hinge. So let me go ahead and illustrate what the squeaking is, where it's coming from. And you guys can use the lube of your choice on that part to get rid of that squeaking. All right, so here's the truck, of course, and let's hear the noise. Sounds lovely, doesn't it? Again. Sounds like uh, somebody ate too many burritos, but <laughs> that's basically the noise we get. So I'm sure that's a pretty common sound for you guys if you guys have owned one of these trucks for any length of time or it's getting some miles on it. So let's go ahead and get into what is actually making that noise. So if you look, you're obviously going to have the hinge on the top, you're going to have the hinge on the bottom, but you'll see this mechanism with the spring and kind of this piece of bacon looking arm that basically has positions in it for the various points of the door you know it stops there and then it stops here and it stops I think it's about three different positions that the door stops in um, but basically that's what that is and the point that actually makes the noise is that roller so if you look at that roller it is basically riding on the post and that noise that you're hearing is the roller on the post it has a lack of lubrication. So again, you guys can use whatever lube you want. Probably something a little bit heavier than this, but this is what I got on hand. I just wanna show you where the noise is coming from and how to solve it. So basically, get yourself one of these, throw a straw on it, and you're just gonna lubricate this. So just this post. So it just needs to get inside the middle of that post. So you don't have to sit there. And the other reason why I'm telling you guys this is because I don't really like having gunk everywhere because if you start spraying everything in here, you end up getting a ton of buildup and it looks super crappy as dirt sticks to it. But it is just this wheel. So if I go ahead and move my light so we don't crush it, you're going to have to work the door in a little bit. But there, it's already gone. So again, no tricks. Absolutely nothing. So that's what I was saying. It's just literally that one point. That you need to lube and then you have absolutely silent doors again so that's pretty much it guys no tricks no games it's the same on all four doors it's just that one post you just lubricate the wheel in the middle so that it can spin on there and you're all set so as always guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up make sure to check out the other videos already on the channel we've covered a lot of ground on this truck um, i'm hoping we don't run out of content because we've been doing a lot of stuff on it but i love doing it hopefully you guys like you know watching all this stuff but leave a comment in the comments below any questions anything else you want to see make sure you're following the instagram page if you guys are on instagram it's the same spelling boosted motorsports so check out there we usually have some different content sometimes i go live if we're at a track event or i'm working on something but as always guys wherever you guys want to watch is cool with me and thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video take care